Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Dominique. Today I've got another shop with Woolworths. I've finally done a um, home delivery. It's been about 10 weeks since I've done a home delivery. Basically, we've just we've just been doing click and collect and running around to Aldi and just picking up supplies. But yeah, it's definitely been about 10 weeks since um, school ended and that I'd last done that. So it felt good actually getting it to the door and, and having it all delivered this time. And it sort of ran pretty smoothly. They didn't really have, they weren't really out of stock too much in my area with certain things. It was just a couple of little things. I wanted to get like the kids just a little toy um, for when they started back school because I like giving them something on their first day back, like a little treat, but they didn't have that in stock. But other than that, um, yeah, I have been going over my budget. So I have spent $267 today. Um, I don't want to spend any more than 200, but for the last month or so, I'm still going over my budget. And I think it's because I'm overcompensating for things. Like I'm definitely overcompensating in case there isn't certain products in the shops. And if you're doing a delivery or a click and collect, you sort of just have to think of something else that you can get in case that's not in. So I think that's what I've been doing. And the same thing with um, the school going back on Monday. So uh, my youngest is starting prep on Monday and I'm going to be having two children at school, which I'm not used to. I'm not used to double lunch boxes and all that sort of thing. So it's new to me. Um, but my oldest boy will just have the same sort of foods that he's normally been used to and my youngest i'm not sure how he's going to go he's usually pretty good with food and he'll just he just loves it he loves eating food that's the thing so i'm a bit concerned he's going to eat all his food in the first break and i'm i've bought a few extra little things you know like a few packets of biscuits and things like that just to put in his lunchbox like a little um just a couple of extra biscuits with butter or something like that, just in case he eats too much in his first break and doesn't keep it for the second break. But I'm sure the, the teachers will monitor that situation. Um, yes, yeah, so I am definitely over my budget a little bit today, $67 over. I am gonna try and get back to spending only $200 a week is what I want to spend. I've also got a meal planner to show you today and we'll go over what I've bought from Woolworths for the week today. So I'm just gonna run through my weekly meal planner with you. So tonight is Saturday night and we're going to have pan fried hokey fillets tonight with stir fried vegetables. On Sunday night, we're just going to have a tuna pasta, just something really easy on, on a Sunday night before school begins on Monday. On Monday night, we're going to have spinach pie. And on Tuesday night, I'm going to have roast chicken and I've got some nice pumpkin to have with that. So I'm just going to have like a roast potato and pumpkin with the roast chicken. And we will have leftovers with that, but I might even make, um, you know, the, the kids' sandwiches with roast chicken, maybe. If not, um, we'll just have like a, a chicken sandwich, my husband and I, on Wednesday for lunch with the leftover. On Wednesday, I'm going to make a lasagna bake. Instead of like lasagna sheets, which I don't have, I'm going to use like pasta and put it in like a um, big glass bowl with the mint sauce and mix it all around. Make a cheese sauce to put on top. A white sauce, sorry, I'm not going to use cheese sauce. I'm going to use a white sauce, homemade white sauce, and then like sprinkle cheese on top of that and bake it in the oven. So basically it's like a lasagna. It just doesn't have the sheets in between it. On Thursday night, I'm going to make chicken mignon. I do have some more chicken left in the freezer and I've got bacon and I'm going to put like a, a garlic butter with that. On Friday, I'm just going to make a vegetable tray and cheese sauce. Just something um, really easy for a Friday night. Me and my husband will just have the vegetable tray and the cheese sauce. If the kids want nuggets on the side, they can. Um, desserts, now we're gonna make a caramel tart, homemade caramel tart um, for one of the nights and that will last a couple of nights as well because it's very rich. And then on another night, we'll just have peaches and ice cream. With the baking side, I'll probably make some chocolate cupcakes. Okay, so let's get into what I've got here today. They had deals on Nutri-Grain this week. So I've just got um, a big thing of Nutri-Grain. I, wasn't going to get this because sometimes the kids don't eat it all and it is a big box it's 805 grams but i couldn't leave it there because it was like four dollars something a box so i thought it was it would be silly to leave something there like that because kids do like it and i like it my husband doesn't really eat it but nutri-grain you know is something that you know we do have occasionally and for that price you know it's good it's a good price it just it does go stale really quickly when you open up a big box of it and you don't get to eat it all I also got the kids some Cheerios because you know they haven't had any of these for about a year or so and I was running out of ideas so nothing else was really on special. I think these were around about 
I'm pretty sure they're about $5, but they're 570 grams, just something different. And you can sort of give these to them in their lunch boxes, just like a little treat in there, um, yeah, that they can just snack on. Now, I got some of these jellies because they were down to around about $1.10, around that price. I don't have the docket, so I'm not sure exactly. But they are a lot more expensive, but I thought about putting these in my stockpile pantry as an in case the kids don't feel good. And you know, like I mean, sometimes it does take a while for a jelly to set. Like I've got heaps of jellies in the cupboard, but I thought about these for, you know, just something like, oh, they just don't feel well. And it takes me about, you know, a couple of hours to make a jelly and set it. And if I want it now, you know, I can just give them one. And plus my little boy is starting prep this Monday. And um, I just thought maybe I could even put that in his, in his bag, in his cooler bag, as something different through the week. Um, yeah, we'll just see how we go. But I thought these are a really good thing to have in the stockpile pantry. And they do sometimes come down to a dollar. So when they come down to a dollar, I'm gonna get some more and just stock up on them. And you've got like an instant jelly there for a dessert if you wanna use it for that as well. Like I said, they are a lot more expensive, but you know, it's just the convenience of it. And it's just a sometimes thing in case the kids aren't feeling that well. Now I've got some of these cheese puffs. This came up while I was looking at the chips. These are cods. I've never ever tried them before. I think they were around $3 something a bag. They look like a cheesel to me, but they I think they're a made with corn, nothing artificial, oven baked. I just thought about something that was more um, like softer sort of a chip for my boy's lunchbox instead of having like a hard chip in there. I could share a handful out between the two and um, yeah, just use them for the week or whatever. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was something different. So I got that. Um, these are the condensed milks. We're just gonna use one of these for um, the caramel tart. We make the caramel tart with these. And then I'll just put another one in the stockpile pantry. Okay, I've got some apple sauce. I'm gonna probably put this in the bento lunchbox. Um, give him a spoon as something different maybe. I'm not sure when I'll do that, but just, a, just an option in the lunch boxes. I've got some strawberry jam because I used all the jam this week in a recipe, which I'll be bringing that video out shortly. I got some garlic, which I'm gonna use this one for the chicken mignon. And I was out of garlic anyway, so I just needed it last night. Couldn't find any in the, in the pantry, so I just had to get another bottle. My son loves sardines and I should eat more sardines as well. Cause I, I was like, for a while there, I was eating at least one can a week and I do like sardines on toast with vinegar, but the King Oscar, they are just beautiful. If you like sardines, these are these are really nice. <clears throat> these are expensive, and I think they were on a, a little bit of a special this week, but they were cheaper than the John West, so I got them. And they're a pretty decent, decent can too. I thought it was a small can, but no, that's okay. It's 105 grams. Okay, now lemon juice. This is another thing that's gonna go into my stockpile cupboard because we have lemon juice with soda water sometimes. My husband always drinks it with water. And if we don't have fresh lemons, we do have a lemon tree, but we don't often have lemons on it. But this is really good to keep in the stockpile pantry coming up to the cold season when you want to make a lemon drink and you don't have lemons or lemons are like, you know, $7 a bag or something. You can make a lemon drink with this and some honey, hot water. Always good to have as a standby, maybe for salads or whatever. So this is a definite must in our pantry now, in our stockpile pantry. I just got myself um, some chickpeas. I'm really the only one that eats these. Sometimes for lunch, I'll just open up a can of that group with some rice. But if it's a really big can, I'm more, more than likely not to eat it all and not even to open it unless the whole family's gonna have it. So it's just I just thought it was just a little option for me, you know, and I will eat them that way. And you can get beans this way too, and it's a lot easier if you just a one person eating the beans or the chickpeas just to buy these i think they're like under four dollars for four cans i just got some spaghetti we love spaghetti so just grab some of them i've got some soothers because you know i just want to get some cough lollies we do have some cough lollies but they're starting to go stale as soon as you open the packet and i mean even just the packet not even the tube they start going stale so we needed some more of them i've got the kids some elastoplast because um, I was hoping they might be a little bit smaller for my son's feet or toes. He's kicked his toe. And the Band-Aid that I've got, the Band-Aids that I've got, which I use Elastoplast because I find they're really, really good. Um, yeah, they're just too big on his little toes. So I was hoping they might be a bit smaller, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. 
I got some Stingos. I've been meaning to add this to my first aid box for ages. This is around nine dollars something a bottle, um, but you know it's gonna. It's just an in case, and it goes till two thousand and twenty-three. Just in case, you know, in case they get bitten by you know sandflies, sea lice, ants, wasps, mosquitoes. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I've used this before when I was younger and I remember it working okay, but I just thought it was good. And if we go to the beach or anything, I can take it in our beach bag. It's just something I want to have um, in our first aid box now. And my boys are both going to need, need hair gel for when they start school on Monday. We've also got wax, but I just need some more hair gel and I don't mind this one. They wear a hat most of the day anyway. Okay, and I've just got myself one of these. This is just a brow liner and um, yeah these were on special for around about six dollars so i just thought i'd try this one treat myself to that okay i've got some pegs because i'm out of pegs i really like the reaver pegs because i find the reaver pegs last for ages you can leave them on the line and you know they never break but they weren't on special this week so i just got the cheaper ones see how they go i've got some snack bags don't often use them but sometimes i might need them for something i just wanted to have them in the pantry I've got some coconut because I used that last week um, in our baking, so I had none left. So I needed a little bit more, but I only had about one cup left. But I had to get a bag of that. And I also got some plain flour because I'm running low on plain flour. I've also got a big thing of Milo. I was gonna get the refill bag, but it was cheaper to buy the big kilo. I got some sultanas just as a lunchbox option or for baking. And these were on special for around about, you know, $3.70, something like that. I've got some arrowroot because I've gone back to some of these olden style things for lunch boxes and you know arrowroot with butter um you know is so easy and the kids like that I even like that too so that's what I always used to have sometimes was arrowroot and milk milk arrowroot with butter for morning tea at school so I just got that even though these weren't on special when they come down on special really good prices like sometimes you can get them for about a dollar sixty a packet the arrowroot biscuits or the aunt's biscuits and that's when I really like to stock up on them. I got myself some cherry and coconut dark chocolate bars. I just looked at them, I thought they looked really nice and they were on special this week. I'm not sure they'll last long in the house because I know my husband really loves them. Okay, and I've got some Kent pumpkin and it looks really delicious. So um, I'm going to make like that pan tray vegetable bake and I'm gonna probably use some pumpkin. Other pumpkin's gonna be used in the chicken roast so that looks really delicious for the week i'm happy with that it wasn't a bad price now i got some bananas but i tried to get them smaller so i had to get the kid size ones because my my son won't eat like a huge banana like this it's too big and it has to stay like it has to you know like i can't really cut it up or anything because he's got to eat it like an hour and a half after he gets to school so I just wanted to get some small ones, but they look like they're going a little bit brown. So hopefully they'll last till Monday. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. So I got small ones. I wanted some green ones, which these must be the green ones. They're not as green, but they're, they're, not, they're not ripe. So that's good. They'll last me for later on in the week. And I just got some, these are supposed to be the Cavendish, I think. So they're not a bad size anyway. So between those two, good sizes for both of my boys lunches they just get too big when they get to this I can make a fruit salad out of them but if I want to like give it to give them the banana with the skin on or anything they're just way too big and they won't eat them I've got some avocados and we have these for breakfast but I was thinking of making like you know sometimes a dip in my kids lunch box and they can have some bickies with it I'll put a heap of lemon juice with it so it doesn't go brown another kit and I just got some Kit Kats as another lunchbox option as well these will just get put away and the kids won't eat these. So these are not for them unless we're like, unless it's a school day. So just as like, you know, even if you just want to give them one bar each, cause you can break it in half and put it in the bento box. And yeah, I just got that. Got my husband some more strong cappuccino, the Makona ones. Now I just got some disposable gloves. I do like to have these sometimes when I'm cleaning toilets and things like that. So I just, I always have these. I always have just the rubber gloves as well, but I like to have a packet of these. And I also got some finished dishwashing tablets. These were on special for about $20, so I grabbed a bag of that. Now I've got some of these um, glad bags or garbage bags because we're out of these. And sometimes they're out of stock, so I just got two, the, two rolls of them. I can put them in the stockpile pantry um, for when I need them. And okay, I've got some onions, just a big thing of onions. These were cheaper, these were two kilos for $5, although I like $3 a kilo this week, so 
they last ages so i just got to got the two kilo i got these now these were on special for about under three dollars this week so this is when i really stock up on them so i just got the tropical one which my kids will will drink and i got some of the healthy greens because i like these ones and you just water them down you can make more out of them but the green ones are really really good so it's got the um apple yellow carrot spinach and kale in it and this was five dollars i don't usually buy cordial we've had a bottle of cordial in there for six months but the kids did end up drinking it five dollars for two liters i just thought it was good just to have just to have in case you know so i just got a bottle of that we don't drink a lot of it I got some free range eggs because we're out of eggs and just some more um, drinks just to put in the stockpile. Just a couple more lemonades. We haven't had them. Like they just stay in the stockpile pantry in case someone's sick or we need a drink or someone or a visitor comes over and wants a glass of lemonade or something like that. And just a bottle of dry ginger ale. Okay, now I've got some more fruit and vegetables here. I've got some spinach, just some baby leaf spinach. I'm gonna make a spinach pie this week so i'll be using that and i've got cream and cheese and pastry and things like that so we're going to have that i've got some grapes these are just for school um i got some red grapes last week they've already gone so um yeah just got some white seedless grapes just for morning tea for the kids at school there and also some strawberries they seem quite nice i did order blueberries but they didn't have any so they've given me blackberries so they look really nice they look delicious I know they're a lot probably more expensive than the blueberries. I got a pawpaw, but it's pretty small and it's green, so it's going to last a. It's going to take it's, that one's going to take a while to ripen. I got some royal gala apples, and also just these are on special. These are a great price. I think they're around about you know about three dollars eighty, three dollars seventy, something like that for the don. I really like the don meat, so I got the honey leg ham and the Danish salami. One son likes ham and the other one likes salami or look they both like salami but i don't want to give them too much salami but um yeah i just got some ham because my youngest really loves little ham sandwiches so i'll probably you know trial him on his lunch boxes and see how he goes at the end of the week i'll give him a honey leg ham sandwich i've already made a batch of sandwiches and frozen them um they're just vegemite honey and cheese so just the basics so they'll have that basically through the beginning of the week. They do have refrigerators in their um, classroom, so we're really lucky with that. But I just want to trial, you know, make sure that the lunchbox gets put back in the fridge and things like that before I give him any meat. So I'll see how I go with that. But yeah, that's just for the lunchbox. I've got some mince here so I can make the lasagna. And probably some another meal with half of it, because I only use half of it. I'll use more sauce than anything else. I've got our chicken, so it's a pretty big chicken there. And that will be for um, yeah, our roast chicken night. I've got some broccoli. I really love these. They're like got a sweet taste to them. You know, I just put them in the microwave and I'll just have a bowl of them. They're really, really delicious. And my youngest is starting to really like them as well. Got some cucumbers because my oldest boy really likes these in, there in his lunchbox. And sometimes I just put like some cheese cubes, some cucumbers and um, a little bit of sliced apple, something like that. So, you know, I just change it up a bit. And with the bento lunch boxes, it's really easy to do that. Got 15 litres of milk this week. The rest is outside in the other fridge. Um, some of it's light milk, some of it's full cream milk. I'm hoping that that will slow down after this week and we might be going down to less milk once the kids start school. I've got some unsalted butter. I always have in the fridge for baking. And I've also just got some of these Yoplait yogurts for uh, my son. I think these are the, are the right size for my youngest who's starting prep. These are only 70 grams. The other ones are too big. The ones I got the other day are 150 grams and I reckon they can nearly share one. It's so big. So I just got him these size. It's a, they're a lot easier for him. So that's my shop today with Woolworths. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, it was really good because they have had, you know, everything I've sort of ordered in stock. I didn't order a great deal of meat this week, but this is the first time in ages Woolworths had pretty much the meats that I've requested. But yeah, so just the chicken and the mince this week. We've got hokey, which we're going to have, and um, tuna in the fridge, in the cupboard, which we're going to make a tuna bake with, things like that. So just try and make it like sim, have simple meals as well. Because, um, you know, sometimes, I think last week we had like chops and things like that. So I don't want to just buy expensive meats all the time and have that every week. Sometimes you have to, you know, sacrifice something for, you know, having something that's nice. So last week we did have steak 
and we did have chops. So this week I've just got the roast chicken and we're going back to basic meals again until maybe the next week and we'll get something, you know, maybe we'll get a corned beef or something like that. But that's our shop today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.